Sebastian, you're up next for a lightning talk. So hi, I'm Sebastian, and um, I'm here to talk about confidential cloud computing uh, and Nextcloud, and I think this is a perfect uh, marriage. Um, I have actually two hats on. Um, on the one hand, I'm a professor for cryptography and information security at Flensburg University, and on the other hand, I'm the founder of uh, Enclave. Uh, which pioneers confidential compute technology. And uh, I'm really, really happy to say that, you know, after I think years of discussion, uh, our university finally switched to Nextcloud. But uh, yeah, but the, the truth is, the truth is, and this is something which I, I can completely com uh, concur with uh, what Leah figured out, it was actually a bit pain of the ass in order to convince IT people to just uh, use Nextcloud because, you know, standard questions like, ooh, what about security, right? They asked me. What about data privacy? They asked me again. Then, should, who takes over the hosting? Can we, you know, take a third-party provider, even a cloud provider that does it? Should we do, do it on our own IT? Discussions over discussions, and this means, you know, in language, you know, of academia, a lot of meetings, no decision, you know, and <laughs> literally it feels like a decade, right? So I have some of the, the memory that we started the discussions 10 years before Corona, and I think recently we closed them. It feels like that. Um, and um, this is, I think, the situation with you know a lot of, uh, say, uh, public, uh, with the public sector, with the government, you know, they care about and they uh, make slow decisions. So, um, um, one of the reasons why you know I dived into confidential cloud computing because I believe this is finally a great answer to all those problems I mentioned before. And uh, confidential cloud computing, in a nutshell, it's like magic. You know, it turns us engineers into magicians because finally we can do something what only magicians can do. You know, you know those those magicians, those guys with a hat that you know put put for example a dove in it and then pull out a rabbit, right? And something magically happens in that. And this is exactly how confidential compute works. Um, this is more a, a technical slide, but in a nutshell, you can think of that we can finally run any application in a fully memory encrypted way. This is the magic. Yeah. Um, and the nice result about that is that finally we can put any application, any container into a black box and deploy it in the cloud. And by black box I really mean that you can execute it, it works like any standard container, you know, you can manage it like any standard container with the extra superpower that once the container is deployed, in the cloud or wherever you, you want to deploy it, it runs fully memory encrypted. So no one really sees what happens inside the container. And this is the magic. Um, this is why I think it, this is a technology that in particular next cloud community should think about because it's like an enabling technology to have security by design, privacy by design, and solve you know, all the niggling problems you know, I mentioned some minutes ago. Um, so the nice thing, and just in order to conclude, is finally we can containerize our applications and literally run them anywhere, on-premise, private, public clouds, who cares, because the black box is simply saving the security and privacy of that app. Um, and uh, this way, of course, we can reduce security expenses. And uh, as we figured out uh, in Leah's um, observation, uh, costs are definitely an important um, decision factor for uh, people in order to either you know, switch to Nextcloud or not. Um, same holds for compliance, right? All the nagging about data security, um, can we use the cloud, blah, 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 right? This can also be addressed with confidential compute. Um, yeah, security expenses I had. So, I know that's just a lightning talk and I really have to speed up, but there is something I think uh, you guys should see 
namely the magic happen. So I brought a short live demo um, where we're going to just execute a Redis database, just a small you know, uh, container, and we're just uh, going to create a, a database in that uh, a Redis um, database um, and simply do a memory dump. And we're going to see that uh, you know, standard memory dump leaks the entries. A confidential memory dump doesn't do. And this happens while the database is in use. Yeah, this is the novelty. It's not like static database encryption. It's really like it works. And wh whenever you want to do the dump, still the result is fully memory encrypted. And now I hope the technology works. Yeah. Um, so Redis, the memory database, and we're going to create two containers. Uh, one, a standard um, Redis version. We call it the vanilla. Um, you're going to see on the uh, bottom right you know, the access to the database. And on the bottom left, we have a confidential compute version out of that. Yeah. Um, and uh, as mentioned before, we're just going to write into the database and then do um, a memory dump. And um, yeah, so this is the Docker Compose in order to create the two um, containers. Um, the whole starting, launching, like a standard container, no changes, no big difference. And uh, yeah, now we're going to send my secret. Um, it's a uh, key value pair which, which we generated. And um, let's search for the process ID of Redis. We got it. And now with GCore, it's part of GDB, we made a memory dump. Yeah, and with grep, we now search for the key value my secret, and there is a match. Yeah, why? Because the whole memory is unencrypted. Yeah, standard, standard use. And uh, on the left, we now repeat the same procedure. So we wrote uh, my secret into the database. Uh, we're searching for the process ID. Make a memory dump. Oh no. Okay, memory dump mate, projector, and uh, search for the string, and uh, there was no match because the whole memory dump is encrypted. That's the magic. Yeah? Boo. <laughs> All right. Um, so if you guys are interested in exploring that new technology, um, something you should know is that all major cloud providers and even hosting providers like uh, OVH offer either virtual machines or dedicated machines, which enable to run you those confidential containers. Um, we created um, the base um, in our GitHub repository, which uh, covers 18 basic um, open source um, confidential compute versions of uh, uh, standard applications like MongoDB, MariaDB, uh, you can PHP, Python, uh, whatever you want, you know, um, just in order to have a confidential compute version of your container application. So try it out, play around with that, give us feedback, and maybe this is the answer to solving you know, all those nagging problems, how uh, security and uh, privacy by design applications can be developed. All right, thank you. Sebastian, thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you with us. Thanks. All right.